Welcome to Switched On Schoolhouse, a CD-ROM-based homeschool curriculum from Alpha Omega Publications. In Switched On Schoolhouse 6th Grade Bible, your students will complete a survey of the whole Bible, from creation all the way through to Revelation, with units on Creation to Moses, the Kingdom of Israel, Captivity and Restoration, the Life of Jesus, the Apostle Paul, and much more. Now let's take a look at a sixth grade Bible lesson to see how concepts like these are covered. In a unit entitled, From Creation to Moses, let's take a look at a lesson called Creation. Most Switched on Schoolhouse lessons begin with a brief introduction and a list of objectives for the lesson. These objectives help students stay focused on important lesson content and provide parents with an effective way to measure mastery of lesson content. At the beginning of most lessons, your students will also encounter a list of vocabulary words that will be used throughout the lesson. We've included several activities to encourage mastery of these important words. For example, students can hear the correct pronunciation of each word. Image Dominion In addition, the vocabulary arcade games encourage mastery of the vocabulary words by providing practice in the correct spelling of each word and in matching each word with its definition. Let's look at a sample. Spell the word Living soul. L I V I N G S O U L. Flashcards allow students to easily review the words and their definitions. After this introductory material, your students then move independently through the lesson reading the text-based instruction, and utilizing the multimedia features that have been provided. Most Bible lessons require students to read a portion of Scripture as part of their study. All Scripture passages quoted within a lesson are highlighted in blue. Parents may select to utilize either the King James Version or New American Standard versions of the Bible. A variety of audio-visual presentations, including videos, slideshows, and animations, provide reinforcement of lesson content. On the first day, God made light. He saw that the light was good. God called the light day and the darkness night. God made the firmament on the second day. The firmament is the Earth's atmosphere, or layer of air, on the third day, God separated the dry land from the water. He called the dry land earth, and the waters seas. God created the sun, moon, and stars on the fourth day, and God set these lights in the firmament to give light on the earth. On the fifth day, God created flying and water creatures. He created whales of the sea and the smallest insect flying through the air. On the sixth day, God created land animals and man. God spoke again, saying, Let the earth bring forth the living creature. The creation of man was different from the rest of creation. God chose to make man in his own image. In Genesis 2.7 we read that God breathed into man the breath of life. On the seventh day, God ended his work of creation and rested. He blessed the day because he ceased from his work of creation. After completing the first section of lesson text, the student can continue on to the next section of the lesson, reading the text and utilizing the included multimedia. More than 25,000 engaging multimedia activities have been included in Switched On Schoolhouse lessons and are designed to engage student interest and bring learning to life. The addition of these interactive activities encourages learning by allowing students to become actively involved in the lesson presentation. Mommy, where did we come from? Well, Christy, you know we moved here from Kansas. No, I mean before that. Before that, we were in Minnesota. 
but you were very young then. But our ancestors, where did they come from? Oh, they came over from England. And before that, where were they? I'm not sure. They lived in England for a long time. Well, how far back do our ancestors go? They go all the way. All the way? You mean... That's right. All the way to Adam. Way back in the Garden of Eden? That's right. Because God created human beings where there were none before. That means that all people are descendants of Adam and Eve. That means we're all related? Yes. Very distantly, of course. But yes. That's one more reason to love your neighbor as yourself. Because just like God created you, God created them. Thanks, Mom. Oh, and one more thing. What was our last name back in the garden? At the end of the lesson, the student is presented with a series of questions that provide a review of lesson content. Questions are presented in a variety of formats, including matching, fill in the blank, true and false, sequencing, multiple choice, multiple select, click and place, essay questions, and many more. Correct! 85 to 90 percent of student work is graded instantly by the program. Answers are automatically saved as the student works through the questions and immediate feedback is given after each question has Correct. been answered. If a parent has set the program to allow for multiple attempts, students will Good be looped answer. back through the lesson to answer questions that were marked wrong on the first attempt. The lesson is complete when all questions have been answered correctly or when the student has exhausted his allowed attempts on each question. The student can then return to the home page to continue through the rest of his daily assignments.